What is going on guys, my name is Hugh and in today's video um, I have some uh, bad news to share with you guys. So I actually was going to go film something for you guys. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I have had a little bit of an equipment error and I think it may be time to retire a very dear friend of mine who has been on the channel for a very, very, very long time. It's uh, my little M50. My Canon M50 that I've had for like five or six years, five, something like that. It's been a long time with consistent use, dropping it, swapping lenses, being all over the place like Colorado, Orlando, back and forth. I've been on a lot of different adventures with this camera and unfortunately as of last week, which is why I couldn't film anything, the SD card slot and then the battery reader on this has officially just took a doo-doo on me. Meaning if I have an SD card in it, for example, it will only read it as a locked SD card. So I don't know if I can pick this up, but hopefully the camera can pick that up. But it only says it's locked. Now if I show you guys, let me turn this off real quick. Hopefully the camera can pick that up. This little notch right here um, indicates if your SD card is locked or not. And it is currently in the not locked spot here. I'm currently using my phone at the moment, filming it at 120 frames a minute. Second. <laughs> Can't do math. The S23 I have is flawless. I am currently recording it on my Yeti microphone, so I have separate audio. But this may have to be the setup for a little bit until I can get a new camera, or at least try to figure out what the heck is going on with this thing, how I could fix it. I was just putting an SD card in it, as I usually do, and I guess the card got stuck, and I was like, oh great, I, had to, I literally had to get a pair of pliers to pull the card out, because it got wedged inside the little card reader. And it looks like, you guys probably won't be able to see this even if I show the camera, but inside the reader is getting a little bent out of whack. Again, from consistent use on this channel, which is every piece of footage you see. So it explains why one of my SD cards, the 64 gig I had, got stuck and wedged inside that card here. I had to get a pair of pliers to pull this thing out and then this part of it got stuck inside the camera, which I got out by the way, it's, it's, there's nothing in there anymore. But in doing so, the card reader is officially fudger-nuttered. So I cannot use any SD card no matter what brand, what quality it is, it'll just consistently read it as a non-readable or a locked SD card. Cards write protect switch is set to lock. So I don't know if there's a way to fix that, but this is a good sign for me to start looking into the next upgrade as far as camera equipment. I should mention that is not the only thing going on with this camera. This thing has been beat to hell and back. There's a piece of, uh, what is this, electrical tape on the side here that is covering this panel from falling off. There's a lot of stuff on this that is coming off, like the rubber here is coming off a little bit. The underside is chipping away quite a bit actually. Even down here it's chipping away. The viewfinder is not broken, but the slider in here to adjust where the lens sits is loose. It'll just flop around like crazy. Yeah, there's also down there where that's coming off. The side panel here came off. I mean, this thing is a freaking mess right now. Which honestly, to kind of give you guys a review on this, this is such a damn good camera. Um, full HD, 60 frames. It can do 4K, but it's got that weird crop-in thing. I think it was like a 1.3% uh, crop-in from just a regular millimeter. So if you do 15 millimeters, it crops into like 20, which is really weird. But I am not an expert when it comes to the specs and spilling out all the logic into one of these guys. I will try to find a video or you guys can do your own research to learn a little bit more about the M50. They do have a Mark II version of it, which has, I believe it's a software update and then the, uh, uh, the sensor is updated as well. Other than that, everything else is the exact same thing, same video quality, same image quality, same megapixels, all that sort of stuff. So compare the little M50 to my old school T5i Rebel. This is also a badass, like, cinematic camera. It only does 30 frames at 1080p, but dude, you want a good freaking starter camera? 
good luck finding one of these because they do not sell them anymore as far as I know. These are a mofo to try and find another one. But again, comparing the size here from what I started with to now this with upgraded video quality and image quality, yeah, pretty massive difference. This thing weighs like a pound and a half. It tires me out when I'm carrying this thing around, especially when I'm vlogging with it. But we're gonna retire this guy. I might, it still works, so I might try to set it up as like a little webcam. So if I do um, like videos or something on the computer, like if I do an edit, editing video for you guys of how I edit stuff, I wanna use this as a nice webcam because there's software for this that you can be able to do that with. Videos are gonna be on hold, unfortunately. I'll try to see if I can pump something out with you guys. Wow, that came out wrong. I'll try to see if I can get some videos out for you guys. A lot of it's going to be kind of stuff like this where I'm talking in front of the mic or using my phone to film everything. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do a lot of mobile stuff. I think I can try to use stuff with my phone and just start playing around with it. Maybe I'll do some more of those like really cool 4K cinematic videos like with my buddy's uh, Honda Civic I did a while back. I might try to do some more of those. Those are really fun to do. I think this is a good sign that the M50 is finally being retired, that it's time to upgrade to something a lot more professional, a lot more useful. There's a lot more, you know, projects that are gonna involve, you know, higher quality videos or uh, more expensive products and stuff like that. Just to let you guys know, um, if I don't see you guys next week, or if I don't see you guys the next couple weeks, I think, because this week is also Thanksgiving, which happy Thanksgiving. Hope you guys have a really good holiday. <clears throat> then I don't know. We'll see what happens. I might come up with some content for you guys. Um, but for the most part, looks like your boy's going to have to take a little break until I can muster up some cash to get another camera, unfortunately. P.S. You guys enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. And I will see you guys. <laughs> and I will see you goons. <sighs> Whenever I get back.